and welcome to Mangum News. I'm your host, Elijah Mangum. This week, we'll be discussing Juneteenth becoming a national holiday, a former Mississippi State representative found dead, a shooting at a gas station in Jackson, and a special Father's Day message. Without further ado, let's begin. On June 19th, America celebrated its first Juneteenth as a national holiday. Earlier this week, Congress passed a bill declaring Juneteenth as a national holiday. And then on Friday, President Joe Biden signed the bill into law. If you don't know, Juneteenth is a celebration of the emancipation of slavery in the United States on June 19th, 1865. Former Mississippi State Representative Ashley Henley was found dead from gunshot wounds in Yalabusha County on Tuesday. Henley was found dead in the same trailer where her sister-in-law was found dead back in December of 2020. A suspect has not been identified and the investigation is still ongoing. According to the Jackson Police Department, a 28-year-old man was fatally shot on East Northside Drive in Jackson. JPD says they received an armed robbery in progress call around 4 p.m. on Tuesday at the Shell Sprint Mart. Once the police arrived, the suspect, Solomon Jameson, was found firing shots inside the business, followed by firing shots outside the business at officers. Officers began to return fire, striking Jameson. He was then transported to the University of Mississippi Medical Center, where he died of his injuries. No officers or civilians were injured in the shootout. Today is Father's Day. Today we celebrate the incredible men who have worked and provided, sacrificed, and nurtured us as fathers or father figures. I want to take a moment to show how much I love and appreciate my father, Dusty Mangum. Not only are you the, one of the strongest, most humble, and godly men I've known, but also you have outdone yourself with how much you have loved, supported, taught, and discipled us into the young men we are today. Each week, this show continues to get better and better through large part thanks to your support and feedback. I love you so much and I thank God every day that he chose you to be my father. That's all we have for this week. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on Sunday.